out again on a beach a different beach today gonna have a go on here and Gordon will be with us shortly and I've oh look at it I don't know if you can see there we go look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful it's gorgeous today look at that stunning all right I've had my first signal I'm gonna spin you around and show you and let's see if we can keep going all right first signals down here it was a 40 so I'm guessing 20p haven't seen it yet it's in a ball yeah, look at that. There we go. First signal, just walked onto the beach. Get in, 20p up and Gordon's not even here yet. Carry up, Gordon. Well, I'm onto the second target. Can you spy it? I haven't even touched it, I haven't bent down, but funnily enough, it had a tiny layer of sand on top of it and I just knocked it off with the <laughs> detector and it beeped. Look at that, shiny penny. That's just been dropped, probably. Probably the person walking in front of me. <laughs> right. Wicked. Two coins in. I'm, oh, I just found a tiny little bottle cap with a bit of glass on. Good job I'm wearing gloves. Look at that, look. Ooh, gooey, here I am. Right. Third signal in the wet sand. Come up in the 90s. Well, it doesn't look too bad, but it obviously is an iron core one. Yeah, that's spendable. I can spend that. Third signal, well, fourth signal, third coin. Happy with that. And we're getting towards the prehistoric mud that I'll show you in a minute. All right, here we are. This here is prehistoric mud that's come out. It's been uncovered. And that there, you see it? That's grass. That is grass. That has been carbon dated three to about five or six thousand years old. Look at that, look grass just lying there that's like iron age there is actually as well if you look here actually there's one look there's a stick there we go that is a stick and that is about three to five thousand years old that's incredible there's apparently nuts and all sorts in this so, oh, I found one. There we go. You see that right there? Is a little nut. I can just get it. There we go. That's a three to five thousand year old nut. That is incredible. Oh, it's a shell. I might stick that in my finds bag. <laughs> see if I can preserve it. I'm going to have a look around on this. See what see what there is. Right, Gordon finally made it. And he's been here 10 minutes, literally he's dug like two holes, something two stupid holes, yeah. like that. And look at this. Take a look at that bugger. See if I can Yeah, stick it in my hand. Put it in your hand. Just a cheap Claire's accessories. Not yeah, really, look at not that. Really. That's a gold one. Uh, can't really see it as clear. Oh, there we go. It's 18 karat gold and platinum with a big diamond in it. And that is stunning. Oh, that one. Look yeah, at that, fine. that's a big stone. 18 carat. You jammy sod. Who, me? Yeah, Who well me? done, mate, well done. <laughs> Look at that, what a beauty. Oh, right, go away now. Oh, the Knox is definitely winning today because I am getting bugger all signals and when I when he gets a signal with his Knox I can't get anything and he's just had that absolutely beautiful condition look at that that is pristine it's only 1960 so not silver but that is beautiful Nick look at that and it was really deep that was what, what 10 inches easy at least if not more yeah under the Lovely coin, nice pre decimal sixpence. Right. There we go. Be more yeah, here. right, let's keep going. I want one now. All right, I've got my digger employed. Yeah. Uh, Coast Guard's coming to have a look as well. Nothing to see here, carry on. He said it was a t late 20s on the knocks. 
I couldn't get through those bloody stones and it was driving me mad. But we're testing signals today. If you can hear me, we're, we're testing signals to see what I'm picking up that he's not. Please don't be a big bit of crap, like whatever that is. Is it a coin? Yeah. I've got a coin! Woohoo! A penny. A penny. Oh, you oh, gutted. That's a number for that. Oh, thank you very much. That's a hot number for that. Yay. That's crazy. One P for all my, I mean, Gordon's effort. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Thank you. <laughs> right, Gordon is giving his marching orders now. He's back, going back to his car. I've told him to go away now. I've been told off. He's just been in there. Where was your hole? It was literally right there. Somewhere in there. Yeah, right there. And he's just had this on the beach. Focus. That is a bullhead George III sixpence. 1817. I've never seen the likes of it come off the beach. That is crazy. It's really, really worn, but there's plenty there, including the 17. I cannot believe you've had a gold ring and um, a bullhead yeah. silver. Right, that is, that's it. Number I think four. your parking ticket's up now, isn't it? No, 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 no. <laughs> right, I just had a signal and I got Gordon to test it with his Master Equinox and it come up, he, he had a good signal, so he, he dug it for me because he's got his scope. He's been very helpful. And there we go, I got a 1966 sixpence. Good year, that, for football fans. <laughs> Not for me, I can't stand it. All right, there we go. Not quite a Georgia third silver, but... I'm well happy with that to get a pre decimal. Well happy. Right, let's keep going. There he is, look, the master at work. Gold, silver, platinum, diamonds, everything today. Sixpences. And look what I've got. A poxy spoon. Poxy spoon. It's not even one I can use, look. It's got a bloody hole in it. Look at that. Ooh. Beat him with a spoon, look. Dish, 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 dish. Oh well. Let's keep going, I've got to find something. This simplex is doing awful today. I can't get a single stable signal on a coin or anything. It's just it's just really pants. I want the knocks. There he is again. Oh, Gordon has found. I've just opened it, but it's a watch. Tiniest little watch that's patented on there. And I'll, I'll just pause you a second, flip it over. All right, here we are back again. Look at that. It's got a lovely pattern around it. It's an Accurist, 21 jewels it says on the face. And look, it's stamped there, but I just can't work out what it is. There's a bit of the original leather strap. So it's either, it is either silver or gold. Because it's gold coloured on the inside. And it almost looks like that mark it says 375, but I can't quite tell. But that is stunning. Oh, I'm so jealous right now. That's gorgeous. Well done, Gordon. All right, Gordon's just had another coin. Let's see if I can get it in the sun. Oh, focus. There we go, look. Abraham Lincoln. It's a cent, but it's a wheat penny. 1936. So it's like the memorial cent. But this is the one with the wheat on it. One cent. That's an old American coin. That is awesome. Gordon's having an absolute blinder of a day. Stonker. Well, well good. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Oh, I am not even joking, but today I have lost complete faith in my simplex. I have gone over all the targets that Gordon's had. I've not been able to get a single one of them, no matter what I do with my settings, ground balance, sensitivity, setting, everything. It is not picking up a single thing. I have gone all around that area, and he's gone back over it and found silver, silver watch, you know, all sorts. I've come in the water, I've just had that because it was massive and that's just in this in all the rocks absolute nonsense I've lost all faith in the simplex it's 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 definitely nowhere near as good as the the um, equinox I don't care what anybody says I have tried it here today no messing around just going over the settings over the things he's got 
and he's got banging clear crisp signals I've got nothing at all nothing at all no matter what I try that is not good there he is with his Equinox master at work he just yet again found a banging signal loud and clear and his I could hear it over my headphones and his headphones went over with the simplex nothing at all and it was that 1957 sixpence in the water here but the simplex would not get, even get a sniff nothing at all that would make me stop oh dear I feel like chucking it in the sea oh there he is again look and he's just had this okay it's not silver but 19 does it say 53 1953 Elizabeth the second shilling fantastic work he's doing bloody brilliant today finally I've had another coin a 1p not what I wanted oh seeing him dig all that great stuff is amazing but it's really annoyed me with my machine today all right let's go and get some more all right Gordon's just come over he's got another one 62 this time so we've had six I think 60 66 62 I think he's had a couple of others as well he's had a fantastic day this is his fourth day here and he's done all right with silver coins he had a an 1890 Victoria threepence a few days ago but he's not had a good day as as he has today oh he's got another one should we should we do a live one a live dig here we go may as well seeing as I'm not digging nothing <laughs> this is the Gordon show today Oh, it's deep, like them all. Don't think you've had a shallow, shallow one, have you? Oh, it's loud. It's loud. Oh, it's loud and proud. Oh, that's Let's have a look at this sovereign come up. Well, there's every every eventuality there could be. It's out. It's out. Oh, it's out. He's got it. He's got it. I mean, look at that for a picture, anyway. What a beautiful place. It's out. Oh, he's got a bunch of rocks. I bet it's a sixpence. Can't see it yet. Are we going to watch something amazing be uncovered? Or is it going to be the only time he digs a ring pull today? Could be. Can't believe he's had the gold. Gold, silver, silver watch. Incredible. I'll put pictures of everything in at the end as well. Is it a sixpence? Tiny. A what? Oh, oh, is it another three buns? Oh, it's a button. Oh, a button? It's got a shank on the back. Oh, wow. Nice little flat button, is it? It's got a shank on the back. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a Tombat button. Look at that. Oh, dear, that's interfering. Look at that little Tombat button. 1700s button on the beach. Fantastic. Right, on we go. All right, there he is, and if you can notice anything... That is my machine, and I'm on this absolute coin monster, the Equinox 800. And he, he said, go on, have a go. I didn't want to spoil his day because he was having a fantastic day. But he just wants to chill for a minute. I walked from there, two seconds. I think I literally counted maybe three swings. And I'm on a really deep sixpence, and that was the most pure, beautiful tone I mean, what is it, 19... 1958, sixpence, but that just proves my point. I had this for less than five seconds, and I'm on a sixpence, and it was really deep, and it was so pure. Oh my God, I want the Equinox 800. I'm going home with this machine today. <laughs> Sorry, Gordon. All right, here we go. Back on the knocks still, and I've just had another coin. Nice deep one. This was a banging 2021, 20, 19, 2021. 20, little decimal half penny so that's a tiny little coin and that was deep that was deep that is epic oh i want this machine that is epic wicked there we go next one up with a nifty Knox. absolutely loving this machine oh my god i can't even turn without a signal 5p and that was so pure so loud absolutely brilliant loving it i'm going to chuck the simplex in the sea i think 
inches. Look at that. That is... Oh, it went deeper because it refilled again. Yeah. I must have gone down 15 inch there. Yeah. The whole scoop had gone. And look at that. It's one of those Condor mining tokens. It's a bit chewed up and it's in better days. So that's a 1700s mining token. Like a druid's head Condor token with a swirly right in. Oh my oh, god, I love this Nox. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the Nox is a beast. And that, I tell you something, from the second I got that, I could lift it off the ground and it was screaming. Absolutely screaming. Oh, I'm loving it. I've stuck to the Nox and had a few more signals. Gordon's kindly let me. And I just had, oh, honestly, look at that. This was going for a good five minutes solid digging. And it doesn't look it, but that was like, oh, 15 inches deep at least. Such a good nine. It was a 23 to about 30 on the Nox. And I've pulled that out eventually. And I was like, what is that? It can't be a penny, surely. And I've rubbed one side. Look at that. 1865 Victoria Sixpence. Solid silver on the beach with the Nox. You beauty indeed. Yes. That's my day made right there. Oh, I can't thank Gordon enough. What a fantastic day now. Well happy. Alright, here we are. I'm still on the Nox. There it is, in the water. And I've just had that. And it's a Tombat button, but it's got a flower design on it. And it's in lovely condition with the shank and everything. 1700s Tombat button. Off the beach with the Nox. Loving it. Hi everyone, I've just got home. I completely forgot to do an outro. It's a bit of a shame because Gordon was still there. We were too busy looking at all the gold and silver at the end. I so, uh, got too busy chatting away about the gold and looking at it all. Anyway, what a fantastic beach hunt today. Oh, Well, in the end, anyway, once I got on the Nox, I seriously need a Nox. That is just... I don't think you can beat that on the beach for much, really, because it's, it's fantastic. So, um, you'll have seen by now that the watch he found was gold. 375... Amazing. Two golds, silvers. What a what a day. Right. I don't think we'll be able to repeat that for a while. <laughs> it was great. I really enjoyed that. Thank you, Gordon. And I, I cleaned the watch up for him and it came up beautiful. So yeah, thank you, Gordon, for letting me use the Nox. I loved it. And I can't wait to get one. So until next time, I'll see you all then. Cheers. Mm -hmm.